Second row forward, Johnny Sexton's got plenty of height on that. Time for the chasers to get there. Brilliantly taken by Tukalat, the Argentine fullback. That was fabulous stuff. And I hear Sanchez steps inside Luke Marshall. Brilliant footwork by Sanchez. He's got Montero. Is Montero going to show us why the... Big step off the left and a hand... It... Henry takes a hand off and here we go. Big step to the left, outside. And he's used that bend on trip. You can see why he's rated. Here's Cabello and it's still a Fuente. who's tackled by Fergus McFadden. Well, they go for the line. They get there. And as you feeds... Aweli at number eight, off goes Landaggio and he has seen that space, that's brilliant by Landaggio, the support on the outside, it's Amaracino, Amaracino steps inside and oh he didn't quite find it, Sanchez plays scrum half, here's Landaggio now, remember they have the extra man here, and it's Tuchelet, the in the game and just no communication, too stretched, uh, too many attackers from Argentina and too much class there from Tukalek, a really sharp... Here's my Argentina, Cubelli waits, and Cubelli, and through, a goal! And all it was is a one-out play, big step off the left. Baez looking for the wide ball on the outside, and they've responded through Ortega Decio! Well, and Dajo. Sanchez, and here is that man, Tuchelet, I told you about two. And numbers of space on the outside for Argentina. Montero gets in, pouring in the right-hand corner, Banner slipping along the little tackle. And then numbers out wide, numbers to burn, always going to be hard to stop. Making sure we make that tackle being tested and missed to the defence, an opportunity. To regain the lead here, Thomas Kuvili. The front, but pillar defence. Poor by South Africa. Two missed tackles. Billy Leroux almost helps. Scrum straight through over the ball. Just not unable to channel it. The, the try scorer Kuvili managed to get that pass away to Sanchez. Now an opportunity for Argentina. Did that go forward? To Took a little go, yes he has! Why look, says the ward the try, third try for Argentina. In the corner, and history beckons. The just can't kind of get their hands on the pill, and so it's all Australia at the moment. Uh, Nick Fitz is just not getting the quick ball he's looking for, though, turnover. Yeah, and here's an opportunity here as Montero goes down the touchline, Montero! Well, just about the first attacking opportunity. He saw the space. Just got on the outside of Peter Beetham there. He was fine there. And then Michael Hooper, the captain, came across. A lot of pace there from Hooper. This is the one they're looking at now easily. And then Bernard Foley as well has a go. Straight through Manuel Montero. Oh, what an electric try. And I've got to tell you, two minutes before that, I said... 15. Not 10, sorry. Not back 10. And Cabelli has a run. Trying to step his way through and he's getting very close. They drive in behind the scrum half. Release now! His options and a good opportunity out to the left. They need a quick hands and they... There, yeah, quick tap and go. And then it was just a numbers game. The Wallabies only had two players to... And get it out as soon as possible. There's the shot coming from Argentina. But no Say I'm going. Holding. Now it's Rob Horn. Oh, and he loses it! Bosch throws the dummy. Great opportunity now for Argentina. Advantage is over. Sanchez puts it in behind the line. It sits up brilliantly for Tuchelet. Here's the turnover from Rob Horn off the back of the scrum. It was a good hit. Cabelli again, the reserve half, scrum half. Lovely little depth kick in behind. Great play from Argentina. Really well weighted kick. Beautiful play. Def just running it out now with the two and a half time. minutes left in the game as Argentina seek, seek, uh, seek that elusive try just on their own side of halfway and a good uh, searing run pass goes back on the inside here's an opportunity brilliant from Sevilla brilliant it's going to be a penalty against the All Blacks if Argentina needs it 
Now the inside pass, they're going to score. It's there of the crowd. It's an emphatic victory for the All Blacks, but yet they can still stay jubilant and they can still enjoy the occasion there. They also had a major possession of the ball, and here the most important thing they had was the patience necessary to work well the rack, to not be desperate. Look where he played, against Teta Chaparro, a good game. And then we'll see the management of the ball in this sector, because they pass all in a movement, practically, practically, to define Senatore, who was chosen the man. To sum up the Argentines, having penalties to hit the ball, going to the touch and losing the ball. Crown. Como lo intentó ser en Australia de visitante, Australia le metió maña a esta formación, acá no pudo y de este scrum generaron ciertos ataques y también ciertas infracciones. Bueno, termina en el try de Juan y Moff, reclamaron todos pase forward, el último día. Y muy buena resolución, ¿no? Un scrum que iba para adelante, muy bien el 8 arriba, tomando marca, jugando fuera de la defensa, lejos, sin darle oportunidad de recuperar. Opportunity for Scotland. Crunching challenge. And now here come Argentina on the break. Powerful run down the left-hand side. And ground to make up, and all the way in he goes. Let's have a look at this. Then this is Johnny Gray gives out. That's a fine. I just wanted to see if it hit the off. Wayne Barnes can't be asking for that to be no, looked, looked at. Tackle. Well, Tegan Desio just kept here. striding away there. The Alex the Dunbar trying that's to get back. That's what we need to tell the producer. Quite a competitive so, uh, position in the Scotland camp, isn't it? I said earlier, Grant Five. Gilchrist, who was the Scotland yeah, captain, watching it somewhere set. at home. Two Richie, the Richie, well, Richie and Johnny Gray, and Tim Swinson. Not to forget, not to forget Al Kellogg. Argentina opted to take the scrum. They're on the drive here, and Cubelli's waiting at the back. And this time, we'll look up at the back, and Lavanini trying to get it down. Use the line. Just short of the line. Forwards wait again. Kubeli goes flying over the top. American football style. Did he get there? <laughs> Man of the match laid laws there. Ships that one short as well. Oh, they've dropped it, Scotland as well. Scruffy end to the game. Kubeli, has he got that down? Victory, but as it is, they're going to probably concede almost 30 if they get this. Well, 31 if they get this conversion. You know, Cabelli has been really sharp when he's come on. But I have to say, you know. Sharp. Who is your turn? Jory. Play on, general player. Referee says play on, it's gone loose. And here come Argentina. Bouncing up Ramon Asino. That's the play half for Argentina's turn to show the ball to the defensive team. Ramon has done before. Petty, Giovanni, Castro Giovanni, I should say. Both feet up, both feet. Again with a tackle. This would be an incredible score just before our time, and they're going to do it. Drop out, you think everything's going well for Italy. One hack through, and uh, actually Argentina capable of putting enough pressure on to split. The advantages that they have right now to win the game. Right well, Fernandez at the I'll line, drew his man well, but the momentum was created from the quick tap and go. And that's it, isn't it? It's his test match rugby. One mistake, that's all it takes, and the margins are so fine. 